Hi folks, I'm pumped to kick off episode 2 of season 4, this time about all the newly GPU-enabled Cloud PC SKUs, which just G8 for Windows 365, and I'm joined by the team who build it. So let's get started. Hi folks, I'm pumped to welcome you at another episode of Windows in the Cloud, this time around GPU-enabled Cloud PCs it's to extend your Cloud PCs that you're used to, but now with GPU-enhanced power. First, before I start, I want to thank you for your ongoing support, because this episode and this series would not be possible without you. And if you don't follow our show yet, go to the Windows IT Pro YouTube channel to subscribe and stay up to date about Windows in the Cloud, Windows 365, and Azure Virtual Desktop. And with that, without further ado, hi, family, Ron. Great to have you on the show. Ron, can you uh, introduce yourself? Sure. My name is Ron Martinson. I'm a fish, my official title is Principal Product Manager, but my role is PM Architect for Emerging Technologies, which includes GPU and Windows 365 platform team. And Femi, uh, what about you? Can you introduce yourself? Yes, sure. Femi Adebayo, I'm a Product Manager on the Windows 365 uh, Windows Cloud Experience team. I work primarily on uh, GPU uh, skills and also on capacity management uh, for Windows in the cloud. Yeah, it's great to have you both. I think it's first time for both of you, so really great to have you. Uh, definitely not the last time, I'm pretty sure, because we have some cool stuff coming up here and some cool demos, Ron, that you prepared for uh, the IT Pro audience as well. So stay tuned for that. So before we go there, let me ask like an introduction question for folks that are new or don't know about what our GPUs are and, and Windows 365 Cloud PCs. Like, like what is this like GPU enabled Cloud PC and the SKUs and what does it bring as part of the benefits? Sure, sure. Uh, great, great question. So uh, Windows uh, 365 GPU enabled uh, PCs are accelerated for you to be productive on any device of your choice and whatever you where you work. Uh, basically, these SKUs are really suitable for uh, graphics intensive workloads that need to be performance opt optimized. So this offering can be can help can uh, graphic designers, image video rendering, 3D image, data processing, virtual uh, virtual applications apps that are required to perform at a higher scale uh, on on your PC. So basically, what you know, Windows 365 enabled cloud PC is that is a PC that helps you accelerate your your pace and your development work in, in the graphics or every intensive work, workload applications that you run on your PCs, that you can run on your traditional uh, PCs. Oh, that's great. And just for the audience, like SKU stands for kind of the license, right? Is, is that correct? Yes, yes, yes. SKU stands for the license, yes. Hey, regarding the GPU offerings uh, available today, uh, like what are they intended for? Like what are the customer scenarios that are good fits for the kind of license SKU type and how do you recommend using them and applying those to like ID pros that serve like virtualization for their for their for their business and customers? Sure. Thanks. Uh, thanks, Christian. So if you look at the uh, but a presentation, if you look at the slide, uh, basically uh, GB enabled a copy. So we, we're offering two offerings, one for the enterprise and one for the frontline frontline edition. And the three SKUs we're offering today, uh, if you look at the, to your left, you look at the standard uh, SKUs, and this is for uh, users that want kind of basic graphic acceleration. So we are offering kind of uh, the SKU mix of, of that to be able to enable customers kind of do their basic acceleration. The other are, are Offering we're offering is uh, what we call uh, GPU Super, and this is for it's, it has greater specification for customers that want to have high high level high level graphics workload. And the third option is Mac. So this is for customers that that, that have most demanding graphics workloads. So these are people uh, customers that have intensive workloads that are doing intensive work on their on their PC, and this this kind of helps kind of accelerate that. That that development or as up to as a rate, uh, what what workload they're doing on their PC, so this kind of helps them uh, get to uh, the tasks they want to do and also uh, what they're trying to accomplish. So this is great information. So I'm very curious, like uh, per those different sizes and such, like what is the intended kind of scenario for those sizes and what can you do as a business to enable users to enhance their experiences per like specific size there. So we have three configurations available, standard, super, and max. Standard offers four vCPUs, 16 gigs of RAM, eight gigs of video RAM, 
And it's really intended for basic graphics acceleration, kind of similar to what you would have on a a high-end desktop with a dedicated GPU. It supports one 4K display or up to two 1080p displays. The Super is the next step up where you're, again, doubling your vCPU to eight vCPU, 56 gigs of RAM, 12 gigs of video RAM. Now you're looking at up to four 4K displays. So this is really where we think it's the sweet spot where a lot of users will end up. And then Max is really the, you know, I want the best of everything. This is 16 vCPU, 110 gigs of uh, RAM, 16 gigs of video RAM. And most importantly, it's our highest uh, performance offering. So it's our our best GPU with the most uh, performance on that VM. So this is the one that if you're really doing you know, high-end uh, CAD modeling with real-time graphics and uh, lighting and so forth, this is one that's probably best for you. Thanks, Ron. Great, great explanation and really very comprehensive information in terms of when you're like architecting and designing your Windows 365 environment to know up front which size you need. I'm also curious, like, what are the exact scenarios? You called a couple out, like, 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 3D rendering, AutoCAD and all these things, but can you zoom a little bit more into those specific scenarios we empower businesses with, with like with these new uh, licenses? So Femi, can you maybe shed some light on that? So if you look at the slide, basically uh, this kind of covers all the uh, kind of the scenario we, we looked at uh, while, while building this. So if you look at most of for folks that do a lot of graphics design, this kind of helps them. If they're doing real-time graphics, you know, uh, performance back and forth, software rendering. We also look at uh, 3D models. So these are folk, folks, for example, architects or folks that do a lot of design, construction, uh, application software that they use. This kind of helps them kind of as uh, performs their job better and helps them accelerate uh, uh, the tasks they're trying to do. Then we look at we looked at also image and video rendering. So these are folks that do a lot of editing, video playback, and this uh, helps them kind of achieve that because it helps them kind of streamline and optimized uh, for for uh, for video and uh, image rendering. Then uh, another scenario we looked at were kind of the data process and visualization. So these are for folks that or customers that do a lot of feature representation, data analysis, a lot of lag that works a lot of lag data sets. Uh, deep enable cloud PC enables them to be able to achieve that because they can do all the compute on, on the background and definitely uh, they can they can uh, helps them kind of process the uh, information faster. Well, great, great stuff, Femi. Thanks for sharing. Uh, I think this really helps like translating some existing scenarios for businesses into the actual licenses. But I'm also very curious, like how do these cloud PCs like with a GPU enhanced experience, like how does that relate to Windows PCs with a GPU? Ron, can you uh, explain some more there? I'm, I'm curious, is it like better, the same? Yeah, no, definitely better. So as you probably know, the normal cloud PCs are software renders. So there is no GPU. So that means certain apps that require hardware acceleration, they won't even run. Um, So now you have a whole new world of applications that now when they first load up, look for a GPU. They've got one they can run. So you start getting things like smooth scrolling and pan and, and, you know, all the kind of feel that you're used to for uh, a regular desktop PC. And then um, more importantly, you know, for the high end applications, you now are able to do work that you were never able to do before. And then, as I'll mention in the demos later, the, there are also uh, additional features like the ephemeral temp drive. So high-end applications, uh, graphics applications, generally create cache files, which are just temporary files to help make uh, experiences faster and smoother. And these are files that can easily be discarded, but they take up a lot of storage. In fact, they can sometimes take gigabytes of storage. And so we have a a temporary ephemeral drive, which uh, ephemeral means that when you reboot the system, the drive gets deleted and everything gets uh, restored back to a clean drive. That's where all these temporary files can go. And that can make your app uh, feel a lot more responsive. And it's a very common task that people uh, enjoy on uh, high-end applications. So we, instead of using your precious storage disk, you have a dedicated disk uh, with a super high performance for this particular task. Well, that's pretty cool. And I'm very curious about the demos now, but before we jump into that part, can you tell us more about the differences between Windows 365 Enterprise and the frontline editions for the GPU-enabled cloud PCs? Sure. Uh, thanks, Christian. That was, that was a great question. So the the Enterprise uh, uh, SKU edition uh, basically is a traditional 
kind of enterprise edition is the only the only thing that is now added is that you have a gpu so you can use the gpu kind of accelerate your most demanding demanding workload with the frontline skill with the frontline skill basically you have a you have a license where you have one uh you have one license but three users can can use that uh, can use that license but they can only use it one at a time right based on based on a certain shift or based on uh the the, the preferred uh, the preferred time of usage yeah, that's great. So if you're coming from like multi-user virtualization scenarios and you use a GPU, like the modernization to Windows 365 and frontline and GPUs is really a very uh, compelling scenario. Uh, do you agree with that? Exactly, exactly, exactly. You you made a you made a you made a great more of a great illustration. Exactly. Yes. Awesome. So regarding the add-on and licensing structure, is is the GPU enabled cloud PCs? Are those like add-ons? Is that correct? That's a great question. No, they're standalone licenses. Okay. And what about like your most demanding workloads on like a Windows 365 cloud PC? Like how secure are they? Are they like most secure? Can you shed some light on that? And what are like the, the capabilities you have around that too? Fundamentally, this is a normal Windows 365 cloud PC with all the same benefits. The major difference is that now you have a GPU. So it's better performance, but in terms of security and Everything else is all the same. Um, these are more powerful systems, um, the high performance disk, and you have the temp drive. And so all these things make for a better user experience. And so really, that's really the main differentiator is the performance that you get out of these. Well, thanks, Ron. Now I'm very curious to see all these new GPU features and actions and see it actually how it works as part of a Windows 365 cloud PC. And I know you prepared some cool demos, so yeah. can we jump straight in there? Sure. I'm like, super excited to show you. So for this first one, you know, everybody uses the Adobe products. And so it's, I thought this would be a great, uh, great one to get started with. And so using a standard uh, SKU of uh, GPU enabled cloud PC, I show off some cool famous uh, Adobe products in Blender. And so take a look. Here's Adobe After Effects. You'll notice that I can scroll through the timeline without any latency. When I switch over to Adobe Premiere Pro, the same is true. Here I have some 4K files and I can interact with them the same as I would on a desktop graphics workstation. Lastly, when I switch over to Blender, I'll drop a potted plant and you can see that the real-time lighting effects are applied immediately. When I rotate the room around, you'll notice the lighting is updated in real time. These are products that normally wouldn't work on a regular cloud PC, but with a GPU-enabled cloud PC, they all behave like a regular desktop graphics workstation. Now that was a pre-recorded demo just because it's easier for the video we're making today, but those were actually done on a real cloud PC. So there's no smoke and mirrors here. This is all real stuff. And then let's show you another example here where using our Mac SKU, I'm doing you know some typical CAD operations where you know, you have real-time lighting and interactions. And so this one I'm really excited to show you. Here's an example of an advanced CAD application with real-time lighting effects. What's cool about this is that you'll notice as objects move, the lighting and shadows on those models update in real time. What's more, if I rotate the environment, everything still runs and the shadows continue to update in real time, just as I would expect from a high-end graphics workstation. And as you can see, there's no smoke and mirrors there. You know, this was a real um, experience like you'd see if you were using a local cloud PC. And so um, really super excited to see what customers think about this and get feedback. So uh, this last one, we're going to talk about something a little bit more boring. But I think for those who really uh, care about this type of SKU, it's an important scenario for them. And that is the ability to have a, a separate temp drive. As many people know, if you use any of these high applications, you have a lot of cache files that take up a lot of disk storage. And disk storage is a premium. It's something you pay extra for uh, in a cloud scenario. So we include a temp drive um, at no additional cost. And so this is where you put all of your cache files and it's you know what we call an ephemeral drive. And what that means is when you reboot the cloud PC, that whole drive gets flushed and restored again. Cache files are safe to delete, so it's kind of a good match and it creates a great um, experience for um, improving the performance of your high-end graphics apps. And then what's really uh, cool too is that when you work with uh, 
high-end graphics apps, you're dealing with really big files. And you don't just create those files and that's it. You usually need to send them to other people, maybe get you know assets from other people and include that all together. And so you know, internet performance is super important. And so that's just a general benefit of cloud PCs, but it becomes even more important and compelling for graphics enabled GPU cloud PCs. So in this demo, I'm gonna show you just how fast they are. One cool feature of GPU enabled cloud PCs is that you have a large ephemeral temp drive for cache files. Now ephemeral drive gets deleted every time you reboot. So we put a localized file in this drive to remind you of that. In this example, downloading a 489 megabyte file will only take seconds, which is great when you're working on a local device with a slow internet connection. Wasn't that awesome? I mean, nearly 500 uh, gigabytes file just downloaded like that. So we really think that this is going to be a super compelling story for customers. You know, all these great benefits, you know, really help you for that scenario too, where maybe you having to hurry up and go edit something from a hotel and, you know, you're working on a very limited powered system with a limited bandwidth, but you're able to connect to that cloud PC using your credentials. And, you know, you, as long as you can stream that experience, uh, much like you'd stream Netflix or something, you know, you, you're able to have that high performance graphic workstation at your fingertips. So it's a super compelling story that really allows you to do what you need uh, on a high-end graphics workstation wherever you need it. And we have a lot of you know cool features for enterprise admins who need to be able to do things like lock these systems down. You know, you may want to have a contractor potentially in another country work on uh, creating some assets for you, and the ability to give them hardware instantly is great that are pre-provisioned, ready to go. They do their job. You can put watermarking on it. So even if they try to take a picture or something, um, you know, they can't, it'll have a QR code on there and, you know, they can't share those assets anywhere with anybody. Um, and you can lock that system down so they can do what they need to do. They can create a content that doesn't have any watermarking on it. They can upload it where they need to upload it really fast. And then you can revoke that system so they can be really short lived and uh, a really great, compelling story for um, these high end graphics uh, contracting scenarios. Well, this is great, Ron. Amazing demos. Thanks for spending time with us today. And Femi, you, of course, too. But before we wrap up and share some contact details and such, like if people are excited and want to kick the tires and learn more, Femi, is there a link that people can go to, like a blog or something that you want to share? Yes, yes, uh, there is. Uh, it will be in the link below. Uh, uh, and, uh, and if users have any any questions, they can they can uh, they can reach out. Oh, well, that's awesome! So uh, now the time to kind of introduce you from a social media perspective. How can people stay in touch with you? And maybe provide some insights and feedback and ask some questions afterwards directly with you as well. So, Ron, how can people stay in touch with you? Sure, I'm on LinkedIn. LinkedIn forward slash n forward slash Ron Mark. Well, you can definitely uh, remember your your link here. Pretty pretty good. We will put it like below as well, just for convenience reasons. Hey, Femi, what about you? Sure, same thing. Uh, on LinkedIn, Femi Femi Adibayo, and you know it will be in the link below. Uh, be, uh, you know, customers, you just can can reach out to. Awesome. So thanks again for being a guest. I definitely want to get you back at some point. So definitely not the last time you're here. And thank you as well for watching and please ensure to stay up to date about all the latest new episodes, previous and new ones upcoming via AKMS slash Windows in the Cloud to watch the previous episodes as well as to register for the next one coming up. So hope to see you next time. Bye.